welcome back to my channel i know it's been a while but we are making some fried lollipop chicken today so stay tuned All right, so let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm using a red stripe. I'm gonna bear batter these chicken um, legs. All right, and I'm also gonna dip them in a little bit of coconut with flour. All right, so we'll see. You'll see all of that coming up. I'm just removing the skin. You can also just cut it and pull the skin up um, at the same time, which I think it was a lot easier to, to come off that way. All right, so I'm just gonna basically cut it right above um you know where the meat is you don't have to throw away the top you can put it down for chicken stock and you know just reuse it so that's an option just make sure you get a, a sharp knife and i'm also going to use my kitchen shears all right so let's make it a lot easier and then you're just going to basically flip the meat inside out it's like <laughs> and they're going to look like some cute little um lollipops okay And I actually have another lollipop chicken um, video on here. So you can scroll down and see that it's a little different version. All right. All right. So we're going to pop that bone right there. That little wishbone. All right. Remove all of that. Clean it up good. Just remove the top and you'll be good to go. Time to season. All right, so I'm just giving one more example so you can see again. And like I said, you can leave the skin on if you choose. It's it's up to you. All right, so everything looks great. So I'm gonna lightly season the chicken with about a teaspoon of all-purpose seasoning. I'm also gonna use about a teaspoon of chicken seasoning. I also have paprika, about half a teaspoon of paprika, and then some sazon, <laughs> all right? So just season, um, just a little, goes a long way with each of this. And also have about half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm gonna use this same seasoning um, in the flour to batter the, um, with the, the beer batter. I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of the green seasoning, which is gonna give it some more flavor, you know, with the garlic, onion, scallion. And if you don't have my green seasoning on hand, make sure you scroll down on my channel. The recipe is on here. And you can also pick up my written copies in my recipe book, Cooking with Raina, by going to my website, therainaskitchen.com. All right, you can marinate your chicken overnight. I just allow this to um, marinate in the refrigerator for a few hours and it was basically good to go. All right, so I have about two cups of flour, one tablespoon of baking soda. I am putting, like I said, the same exact seasoning that I added to the chicken, a little garlic powder, onion powder, um, all-purpose um, seasoning, some chicken seasoning, some sazon, and um, some paprika. You can also add a little salt and pepper. Well, I didn't add any salt and pepper. All right, so this right here, I did add like a cup of flour, add some breadcrumbs. You don't even need the breadcrumbs because I tried it with and without the breadcrumbs. I liked it better without the breadcrumbs. All right, so, and um, actually some sweetened coconut flakes is what I also added. All right, so you can use any coconut flakes. It's usually in the bakery aisle in the supermarket. All right, so I am going to get my batter together and then move to the next step. All right, so I've already whisked everything up, the same seasoning, like I said, we added to the flour. I am now gonna add my beer. Just make it um, soupy enough so it's not thick and clumpy. Just use a whisk until it's, you know, fully dissolved, just like that. All right, and first I'm gonna 
dip the chicken in the batter with the beer and then i'm gonna add it to the coconut flour mix okay So even though I'm wearing gloves, I still don't like uh, both of my hands to be um, full of flour. So I use one hand for wet, one hand for dry. So it doesn't get too clammy and you know, you have flour stuck up on the gloves and all that, but you can always wash your hands. So just add this, um, I've added to a wire rack or a, a bacon tray and let it um, rest. And then I'm gonna add it to a deep fryer. I'm gonna fry it for about 15 minutes at about 300 degrees all right and um it's gonna i i got one of these nice master built deep fryer it's holds like three liters of oil so i fry, i deep fried my turkey in it all right so that's how i'm gonna deep fry it. you can always just check the internal temperature just to make sure it's good but 15 minutes it's not a lot of meat on here and just let everything submerge in the oil because you don't want the top sticking out okay all right so that was quick and easy i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you try it make um you know just drop some comments in the comment section if you are not um if you have not subscribed to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button that notification bell and um yeah pair this up with some rice and peas i'm just cleaning up the chicken to make it look nice and pretty once it come out yeah or you can just eat it by itself as a little appetizer all right so see you again on the next video thank you for watching